moving it out to about the eight yard line. Beautiful punt. Beautiful punt. 54 yards, three yards on the return, and Tennessee deep in its own territory, leading three to nothing at the eight yard line. Johnny Jones, 10, 15, 20. Johnny Jones scampers forward for a gain on the play of 16 yards out to the 24 yard line. And the record setting one for a runner from Munford, Tennessee. Gets blocking up in the middle. You see 30 is B.B. Cooper blocking at the pointy of, a, of the attack, and it's Johnny Jones who rambles for 16 yards. First down for the Volunteers as Robinson brings his team to the line. Three to nothing, Tennessee leading, battling a stern and stiff Ole Miss defense. Robinson off play action. Here's the pass. It is complete. Nice, nice move by Eric Swanson, the wide receiver who made that catch, as you'll see here in the second look. Play action fake to Jones, throws the linebackers. Here's the pass, and you'll see Swanson making the break at the moment the ball is released, and he steps out of bounds, and it will be after the 13-yard gain. First down, 10 to go. First down, number seven for the balls. Hand off, and this will be B.B. Cooper. And Cooper made quite a move at the line of scrimmage to cut back across the grain. And the 5'6 senior from Huntsville, Alabama, moves for a gain of nine yards on the play. Tennessee leads 3-0. A second look. You'll see the blocking by the Volunteers out front. 52, that's Raleigh McKenzie. Upton is in there. Blocking. As for the Volunteers, it will be... Second down, about a yard to go after that nine-yard gain. Robinson in trouble. He eludes, pulls it down, will run, and Robinson dives. Let's see. Tony Robinson escaping the all-out pressure at 6-3, a deceiving runner, really. A little gangly, a little rangy, but watch those feet. Quick dancing feet, darting forward. And Tennessee, after the run by Robinson, will have it first down and 10 to go. This is B.B. Cooper, who slips and falls that time as he carries forward. For the Vols, 76, Harry Galbraith in the offensive line. We'll set the rest of them as here comes Tennessee to the line of scrimmage in a 3-0 game, Tennessee on top. Second down for the Vols. Not much on that one. And this will be Robinson at ground level. Again being pursued. Again, Robinson this time is really cracked from behind. And a penalty marker is down on the play. Tony Robinson knocked out of bounds, and then perhaps a late hit could very well cost Mississippi. Let's see it. Play action fake to 32, Charles Wilson. Blocking by McKenzie, by Mayo. And now you'll see Robinson trying to escape to the outside. He's hit right here. Driven down, and right here you will see the penalty or the infraction. And Tennessee, after the 15-yard penalty, will have it first down and 10 to go. A late hit by Ole Miss, and a costly hit it was. There's the penalty. A personal foul. The score remains 3-0, and now Tennessee has the ball in Ole Miss territory. This drive began after the beautiful punt by Smith at the Tennessee eight-yard line. Johnny Jones to the left side gets a little opening and comes wedging through as he slithers for a gain of five yards on the play. That will make it second down and five yards to go. The Volunteers have the ball down in the vicinity of the 30-yard line of Ole Miss, actually closer to the 25. Robinson. Mark it at the 30, as we originally said. Here's the pitch to Jones. Jones to the outside, turns it to the corner, and fights. I think he got a first down. Jones to the 20. Good acceleration on the corner by Johnny Jones. 30 is the fullback, Cooper, who gives him just enough room to cut to the inside of the defender and fight for a first down and 10 to go. Now the Volunteers at the 25-yard line, leading Ole Miss 3 to nothing. And this has been a long, long drive. Robinson looking. There's the pass. It's complete. Immediately, the man who receives the catch, Bill Eichholz, is blasted down. But the senior from Knoxville retains possession, picks up on the play, five yards. And Tennessee will have it 
Second down and five. A second, second look at the pass, five, the catch, the and the tackle. Three nothing, Tennessee leading. Robinson is checking off again at the line of scrimmage. You'll see Coach Johnny Majors edging into your picture along the Tennessee sideline. Robinson looking. Long pass is caught but out of bounds, and it is incomplete as it was McGee who made the catch. Out of bounds. Third down. Tim McGee, a senior, excuse me, a junior from Cleveland, Ohio, who has caught 34 patches for 502 yards. Tennessee on the play, however, had an illegal receiver downfield. That's not only a penalty of five yards, but it's loss of down. Third down, 10 yards to go for the ball. Robinson looking, waiting. Here's the pass. It is complete. Pulled down by Jeff Smith. So more and more, Jeff Smith is becoming the big play receiver for the Volunteers. And here you'll see on third and ten, the catch by Smith, the turn, and he tacks on five yards for a gain of 16, and Tennessee will have the ball. It will be first down and goal to go for Tennessee, just inside the ten-yard line. The balls must score. They cannot make a first down. First down and goal. Tennessee leading three to nothing. Ole Miss digs in, going into a four-man front. Linebackers tucked tightly. Robinson to Johnny Jones. And he battles down. Four yardage on the play. Close to Jones five yards on the play. Second down goal upcoming. Jones now in eight carries has gained 31 yards. And he has, on the year, gained 999 yards. Tennessee, three. Mississippi, nothing. This drive began for Tennessee at the volunteer eight-yard line. Robinson is barking out a change in play. A slight shift to the inside by McGee. Robinson sets. Here's the pass. Give him six. Touchdown, Tim McGee. A second look from ground level. Robinson... McGee with a brilliant catch and the sure-handed receiver from Cleveland, Ohio, gives Tennessee a touchdown. A third look at the pass, the move, and the reception by McGee, who now has scored four touchdowns this year. Quad Reves will come into the game to attempt the extra point. The kick is up, the kick is good. There's timeout on the field with the score. Tennessee 10, Ole Miss nothing. Tennessee 10, Ole Miss. has taken the kickoff following the Tennessee touchdown, marching downfield, third down at the 34, long pass, Austin, it is complete Ambrose, there's a penalty marker down. A brilliant catch by J.R. Ambrose, who has caught two passes this year coming into this game, both of them for touchdowns. Let's take a second look. Austin setting up. You'll see that Victor Peppers, Tennessee's defensive back, has pretty good position. But now you'll see Ambrose go up and look at that catch. Great effort. Past the goal line in the grasp of Peppers, but it is all for naught. As Ole Miss is holding on the play. So the touchdown is wiped off and Ole Miss sustains a 10-yard penalty, moving it back to the Rebel 45-yard line. Tennessee maintains a 10-0 advantage. Kent Austin this year has thrown eight touchdown passes and came very close to his ninth, but it was nullified. Austin rolling right, pulls it down, will run to midfield, and is tackled as he gets into Tennessee territory. The gain this time by Austin is good for nine yards, but keep in mind he had 20 to go. So it will be third down and right at 11, as Tennessee leads 10-0. Austin incomplete it was intended for Joe Mickles so it's got to be third down and 11 and a half 12 yards to go the score is 10 nothing Tennessee leading Ole Miss shifts to the split back Austin reverse coming to the near side pulls it up throws the football it is incomplete it was intended for James Harbor but as you saw Quarterback, as you will see right here in the second look, quarterback Austin is running 
against his natural throwing motion to the left pulls it up and here you'll see Joe Cooper hitting him just as the pass is released and he made the throw a little quickly and it goes incomplete fourth down and into the game will be Brewer to punt now this is Brett Brewer who is the son of head coach Billy Brewer Channel C coach by Johnny Majors of course here's the punt by Brewer high one pooching it downfield and Tennessee races away and Ole Miss knocks the ball into the end zone. Well, that was a beautiful punt by Brewer. And Ole Miss, unfortunately for the Rebels, deflected the ball into the end zone, so it becomes a touchback. And Tennessee, leading by a score of 10-0, will have the ball first down and 10 to go at its 20-yard line. 2.33 left to go in the first half as Robinson rips the pass, and it is juggled and then dropped. Robinson Howard was the intended receiver and the pass is incomplete. Tennessee leads by a score of 10 nothing nearing the end of the first half of the game at Jackson Mississippi the balls five two and one Mississippi three five and one Robinson sees a shift in the defense counting that play clock down until there is one second when the play gets underway the pass is caught Swanson He's butted out of bounds immediately as coming over to defend, defend for the Ole Miss Rebels was Lee Davis, a junior from Amory, Mississippi. Far short of the first down. Tennessee needs a first down to stall out the clock and uh, hold on for the first half. Robinson, pressured. No, he dives back to the line of scrimmage. He's slow to get up now. He seems to be okay as he jumps to his feet and scurries to the sideline. Fourth down and into the game will come Jimmy Colton. Let's take a second look at the pressure from Ole Miss. The move by Robinson. And on fourth down, Colquitt, wearing number 21, will be into the ball game. He's averaging 42 yards per punt this year. A senior from Knoxville. A four-year starter, as is his kicking running mate, Quad Reves. Jimmy Colvin played at Doyle High School in Knoxville, Tennessee. There's the snap. The punt, it's not a very good one. Sort of a squibber off the side of the foot that end over ends out of bounds. And Ole Miss has excellent field position with time here in the first half. Ole Miss lines up with Austin complete Wansley fights for the sideline he didn't make it as Jones 54 Xander 45 are over to cover and all this will use a timeout to stop the clock here you'll see Austin setting up Simmons trying to get the pressure on but the pass is released to Wansley and the tailback tries to battle out of bounds unable to do so second down a yard to go And the clock tells you the story. Tennessee 10, Ole Miss nothing. 118 to go in the first half as Austin has been to the sideline, has gotten the call from Coach Billy Brewer, and comes back to the line of skimming. Ball at the Tennessee 42-yard line. Austin rolling right, being pressured. Here's the pass. It is complete. That's Ambrose. He's just an outstanding receiver. A freshman from Ruston, Louisiana, who played last year at TMI in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Here's a second look. Good poise. There's the pass by Austin, the catch by Ambrose. The tackle by Tennessee. But not until Ole Miss has it first down. Austin. Rollout pass is incomplete this time. It was intended for number 25 along the near side. And that, of course, is James Harbor. Clock is stopped. Ole Miss trails 10-0. In field goal range, but wanting more. Austin is blitzed. McKenzie puts the pressure on, and Austin has to get rid of the ball quickly and throws it over the outstretched fingertips of Wansley. 77 Cooper for Tennessee also getting some pressure on the play. Third down. Ole Miss with the ball at the Volunteer 20. Austin rolling left, being pursued. Pulls it down, will run. Flips the ball instead and just throws it away. Stopping the clock, it was intended for Wansley. And Austin was hit and is injured. Let's take a second look here. Kent Austin 
Reverse roll out left. Pulls it up. Now looks back across the field. Is hit right there by Dale Jones and teamed up on a double wicked slashing lick by Tennessee and Austin is helped to the sideline. Ole Miss on fourth down will attempt the field goal and there you see the snap. You see it up and it is good. We'll be back with halftime comments in just one minute. Mississippi band performs as Tennessee leads by a score of 10 to 3 at halftime. The Vols had 13 first downs, Ole Miss 5 in the first half of the game as the Volunteers maintain a 7-point advantage. Right now, let's take 10 seconds for station identification. This is the UTV Network. As the Volunteers lead at halftime 10 to 3, for Tennessee, Johnny Jones has carried uh, 50, excuse me, 10 times for 50 yards so that he has passed the 1,000 mark here again this year in his senior season. The ball's on top, 10 to 3. We'll be back with the second half in just one minute. The second half kickoff is a touchback, and so Tennessee will put the ball in play, leading by a score of 10 to 3. First down, 10 to go at the volunteer 20-yard line. Tony Robinson has gone all the way at quarterback. Delay handoff Johnny Jones into the middle, and a penalty marker is dropped. There you see it. As Johnny Jones moves forward for a gain of seven yards, here's a second look at the blocking 70, blocking for Tennessee on the right side. And there you'll see there was a penalty marker down, and face mask is going to be the call, I think. Blocking up front for Tennessee that time, of course, number 70, Todd Upton, the junior from Alcoa. So a 15-yard penalty gives Tennessee excellent field position out to the 41-yard line, and Tennessee has it first down 10 to go, leading 10 to 3, third quarter. There's that shifting Ole Miss defense. Here's Robinson ripping the pass on a screen complete, 40, 45. McGee diving past midfield as Tony Robinson is on target to Tim McGee. And McGee makes another catch and another gain. Good for eight yards this time. There you'll see out front. Let's see if we can pick up the blocking. 78 will be Wilkerson. Uh, excuse me, that will be Douglas. And I think it was he who made the key block. Douglas from Spring City, 68 is Wilkerson from Philadelphia, Tennessee. Second down, two yards to go for the Volunteers. And off, this will be B.B. Cooper. He's got first down yardage and then some. As the diminutive senior twists his way forward for a gain of seven yards. And it will be first down number 15 for Tennessee. First and 10. This is Cooper again. Plowing forward for a gain on the play of right at five yards. And the Volunteers move Deeper and deeper in Ole Miss territory. It will be second down and five yards to go. Tennessee leads in this football game by a score of 10 to 3. Robinson off play action, setting up to throw. Will run instead. Robinson 35. Robinson dives down close to the 30-yard line before he's nailed. The quick feet of Tony Robinson, a very deceptive football player. Here you'll see rolling out with Upton pulling to lead. Now Robinson slips inside, breaks that tackle. Great cutback right there. And it's Tony Robinson picking up on the play. Eight yards, and Tennessee has it first down and 10 at the 30-yard line. Misdirection handoff, Charles Wilson. And Wilson scurries around the left side of the line, sweeping for a gain on the play of nine yards. Two carries, 11 yards now for the freshman from Pritchard, Alabama. There you'll see Williams there. Uh, Wilson, I should say. Williams was out in front blocking. And downfield, Bill Eichholz rolls up the cornerback. Second down, a yard to go for the first down at the 21-yard line. Tennessee leading 10 to 3. Third quarter, check off Robinson. There you'll see the defense reacting. As this is Wilson, hopping left guard. And moving it to the 19-yard line, and that will be enough for first down, 10 to go, Tennessee. First and 10. Tennessee in this football game is leading by a score of 10 to 3. First down, number 17. Tennessee into an eye formation. The tight end is tucked into the boundary left. The pitch goes to Jones. Jones, 20. Cuts back 15. Jones, 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Give him 6. Touchdown, Johnny Jones. Johnny J 
Jones goes 19 yards to cap an 80-yard eight-play drive, scoring his 10th touchdown of the year. There's the pitch. He's got blocking out on the corner. Now watch this cutback. A slashing, driving scamper by Johnny Jones. And he's got blocking. As you can see, the Volunteers rolling them up downfield. And Johnny Jones goes crashing into the end zone. And the Volunteers build the lead to 16-3. to Raves will come on to attempt the extra point. And it is good. So Tennessee, which led at halftime by 14 points, excuse me, by 7 points, now leads by 14. Let's see that touchdown run again. And what an angle this is. Beautiful camera work from the end zone. As Jones cuts back, breaks the tackle there, and you'll see that cutback ability, the mark of a truly outstanding runner, a senior from Munford, Tennessee, the career rushing leader for Tennessee all time. Tennessee 17, Mississippi 3. Davis, is the Davis will be deep for the Rebels to receive the kickoff by Fuad Reves. And we'll wait and see if Ken Austin, who, as you recall, left the game near the end of the first half with an injury, will return to action. Tennessee took the kickoff here to begin the third quarter and marched downfield for the TD. Beautiful camera work. 